Hello, hello YouTube. Josh Text Bark with another great tutorial and today's tutorial is about how to fix a service error 1058 which says the service cannot be started. So on this video, we are going to see three solutions to solve this problem and this solution will work for all Windows operating system, Windows 11, Windows 10 and other Windows operating system. So let's start from solution number one. So if you are facing this problem, the first thing that you should do is checking your windows update service which is its startup should have to be automatic so to do that click here the search icon and type here services so here the services then open the services so after the service open find for windows update which is in the bottom part w so here we find the windows updates in the bottom so select that and as you can see the startup type is manual so right click on it and select properties then after that the startup type is manual so select here the arrow and select here automatic so after you make it automatic select here apply and click here ok so as you can see here windows update is changed into automatic the startup type then after that click here the restart button so it will restart the service control section so close here the service and check whether the problem is solved or not so if the problem is still occurring then the second solution is make change on your registry editor so so to make that click again here the search icon and type here reg edit reg edit Get the registry editor then right click on it and select as run as administrator and confirm by selecting here yes so here we find the registry editor so before you start making a change to your registry editor go on the top of the registry editor and select here file and export which is backup your registry editor in case if you face any problem you can get back to your previous registry editor information so i'm going to type here backup here backup so i'm going to save it on the desktop and here i'm going to select save so the registry editor is backing up under the desktop so here all the registry informations are backed up on the desktop so let's start uh, the process so first open your computer section here then go to here HK local machine click here the arrow then after that click here system by clicking here the arrow then select here control current set so click here the arrow again then after that click here service again click here the arrow so after you find service go on the button and find we user this one which is w u a user v so don't click here the arrow just select here the folder and it will give you this information so find here start so click on the start or double click on it so after that it will give you here a value data which is number two so if the value data is zero or any number make sure the value data is number two so after you type number two make it into hexadecimal and select here ok then close your registry editor and check whether the problem is solved or not so if the problem is still occurring then the final solution for this video is running a troubleshoot for windows update so click here the search icon and type here settings so here click on the settings then after that under the settings you'll find system here under the system to the bottom you'll find troubleshoot so select the troubleshoot then you will find other troubleshooter then open other troubleshooter and after that you will find here windows update so click click here run so it will start detecting a problem related with, with uh, related with windows update 
So wait patiently until the detecting process will be complete. So I hit the troubleshooting as completed and check for Windows update issue detected. So here select close and check whether the service error is solved or not. So these are the solution on fixing your service cannot be started problem. And I hope this video helped you. So if this video is helpful, please like, subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you for watching. Chash take out.